Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. And today I have another special banger for you. All right now, listen, before we get too far in the video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like and let's get this video to at least 1,000 likes. That would definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in 2K community. And hopefully you can appreciate the 9 a.m. and at 5 p.m. daily double uploads. And you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, all right? Now, let's get straight into this video. So today, my nephews and nieces, we are bringing back the Scorn Machine. The Scorn Machine is actually not a meta build this year. Um, I will be launching off the meta build series next week. I just need a couple of weeks just to see what the meta is right now. So then I will be launching the meta build series starting next week for the score machine as usual it is going to be pretty balanced on the offensive side and i'm going to show you two versions how you can obviously have some defense and then of course you know my favorite offensive heavy type build so let's get right into it um i'm gonna go point guard with this one doesn't matter if you go right or left-handed the pie chart that we're going to use is going to be the mostly i mean i'm sorry the hall of fame finishing and the hall of fame shooting so if i know you can't get contact dunks i'm gonna go this route because I mean, contact dunks off rip like the animations. Obviously, if you get slash and takeover, you will be the contact dunk. So, but we're gonna go with this one here, and then obviously we're gonna go pure speed because you know this is a point guard, and um, obviously point guards want to be as fast as they possibly can. All right. So what I'm gonna do right now is show you the offensive heavy version, right? The version that's gonna give you as many badges you can possibly get from the offensive side, and um, we're gonna max all this out here. All right then we're gonna max out everything here you see what we got going on here right man you know i'm going crazy with it so you want to go max out everything here then you want to get your your perimeter defense and your lateral quickness now what i would do is i would drop my um perimeter defense down to have my lateral quickness so this is what we're looking at 21 22 16. now of course a lot of my nephews i want to say a lot some of my nephews and nieces some of y'all y'all love offensive heavy modern day nba is all about offense correct if you have a dedicated team that has a lockdown and a paint beast, right, that is going to be doing all the defense, you're going to sit corner, or even if you're not sitting corner, you're always going to be playing on off ball. Like, you know, every single team you play against, they're going to have somebody that is going to be the primary ball handler, and you're always going to sit corner. This will be a good um, build for you, right? This is what I will make, because when I get on the threes court, I already know I've ripped. I'm not going to be playing this. Now, if you're playing twos or you're playing with randoms, this might not be the best way for you. But if you play the 5v5 on the top of the moat or if you play 3v3, you play rec, you know, on that type of deal, this will be for you. But if you're a twos player and you're um run with randoms, you'll probably want to go the other route, right? Now, the other route will be this, okay? So let's just go ahead and get this all back, all right? So wait a minute. Actually... It should have been 15. Do not max out them. Um, it should only be 15, not 16, right? So you want to have 77 um, pass accuracy. Do not have 78, all right? So anywho, um, you want to take away all this, all right? And you, then you want to take away your post fade, okay? And then you want to take away your post hook, and then you want to take away here, all right? So there we go. So now we'll use all this, and we'll max it out here, okay? We'll do this. So this will give you seven. Maybe we can work around a little bit here. Can we get two somewhere here? Can get anywhere with two two doesn't really do nothing for you it doesn't matter but anyway so now you have 14 18 12 and 7 so this will give you seven defensive badges you do take a massive hit on your finishing and shooting and you know how i feel about when you have hall of fame badges you want to get as many of those as possible and that's the reason why sometimes with rare builds i might even have post hook maxed out it doesn't look right but at the same token it gives me the finishing badges that i think i deserve for having hall of fame you have hall of fame finishing hall of fame shooting with this but you only have 14 and 18 if you're happy with this then go ahead and make it of course you know i'm just giving you the way um like the 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 foundation of making these builds obviously you can tweak them yourself to make it any way you want but this is a version that you can look at me personally i don't like this i'm gonna go ahead and go top heavy like i said so i'm gonna go top heavy and i'm gonna max all this out here and then i'm gonna max all this out here and then i'm gonna go here 
and that should give me 83 so what am i missing here uh oh yeah 75 so let's just um drop a little bit here and then that should give me actually i can get 22 of them things ding so i can actually get 22 all right i can actually get 22 because i do know if i go if i if i have if i don't go if i go over 78 it changes the name so we don't want to do that all right so we're looking at 22 22 15 and 1 ding this is crazy right <laughs> so then um on your body type you do want to go built um you do want to stay 63 you want to lower your weight all the way down to 176 well actually we probably go a little high lower so we want to go our weight down already around to 173 then our wingspan you want to max it all the way i mean you want to take it all the way down to 75 again you're a guard you're not worrying about your wingspan all that type of stuff all right so now let's check some things out so we do know that you do get a plus eight to your physicals. You get a plus four from 95 to 99 overall. Then you get the other plus four by doing either of these three things. Either A, play, I mean, playing my career until you become a starter, then sim out the rest of the season, okay? Play every single playoff game, and then win the championship, and you get the gym right badge, okay? B, head to the um, Gatorade facility, talk to the guy that's at the entrance, he will tell you, give you a quest or where you, all you have to do is just hit level 40 in season one and you'll get the gym right badge like that. Or C, which a lot of people do, is just head to the Gatorade facility every seven days, get a plus four on the workout, and you'll get, the, and you'll get your plus four. So what you're looking at here will be a 96 speed with 95 acceleration with a 79 vert, which is really good. And then you get a plus four to finishing, shooting, playmaking, defense, slash rebounding. So as you see here, you will have a 92 driving layup. You'll have a 78 driving dunk. You'll have a 90 mid-range shot with an 88 three ball with a 93 post fade. You'll also have an 81 pass accuracy, an 86 ball handle. You will have a 73 perimeter defense and a 77 lateral quickness. Again, you'll get momentum. You'll obviously be able to momentum dribble and get pro dribble animations. You'll be able to have a ridiculous three ball at 88. And then, of course, if you get slashing takeover with the 78 driving dunk plus the 10 that you get, that's an 88. You will believe it or not, you will get contact dunks. OK, so that will lead us here. So then now the question is, what would you want to go with me personally? I believe in this instance, since you're shooting so high, slashing takeover or playmaking take will be the best bet, depending on what you're trying to do. I have not seen a lot of people getting dropped like that, but it's really your preference and your call on this. Me personally, I'm going to go with the slashing takeover. And then here you have my nephews and nieces. We have the scoring machine, all right? So now let's do this. Let's test this build out real quick. Let's get the 99. And of course, we would then get you out of here, right? Now, keep in mind that you are a smaller guard, right? So as a smaller guard, there is going to be some things that you probably would not have gotten beforehand that you might really want to consider. For one, acrobat and fearless finisher you want to have. You definitely want to have posterizer and you definitely want to have slithery finisher, okay? These are some ones that you definitely want to have. Now, the big one here will obviously be Giant Slayer. Um, it heightens the effectiveness of layups over taller defenders. At 6'3", with the possibility of having someone taller or at the paint, to me, I feel like this would be a good badge to have. So that's what I would go with, okay? You have two left over, right? There's nothing really here that stands out that you will probably want to have because as you see right here, fast twitch, it speeds up standing layups and dunks around the rim. You're not doing standing layups. I obviously have grace on the passer. It boosts the effectiveness of standing shots. You're not going to be doing standing shots, hook shots. Limitless takeoff is a good one. Favors dunks and layups from a further, um, from a further takeoff range. That would be a good one. It's either going to be this one or it's going to be teardrop or on strippable now teardrop is something that i have not necessarily looked into a lot um but i have played the game remember when we was in the, the process of developing the game teardrop was something that was a lot of focus and was was talked on so maybe teardrop will be a good one but until then i'm actually going to go with fairly i mean with limitless takeoff okay so this is what i would go with and then on the shooting side you have badges for days so you want to go blinders um obviously you want to go hot zone hunter you do want to go stop and pop um I like to go uh, Chef, of course. You want to have Green Machine. And then for the most part, um, that's pretty much going to be the best badges off rip. Limitless Spot Up will be something that you can look into if you are, um, once they make Limitless Range 3s, part of that. Right now, Limitless Range 3s come off the Chef. Um, so if, you, if that's something that you're interested in, if you don't know how to activate that, then I will actually look elsewhere. Top it off with Deadeye. These will be the ones that I definitely would say feel like will be the best mismatch experts another good one we're shooting over taller defenders so maybe if you want to take away chef 
for right now if you're not activating it and then go here this would be a good one too and then oh i'm tripping i'm tripping i'm tripping i'm tripping so let me just do this real quick so we want to we want to get blinders high we want to get miss first of all let's do sniper first bump that sniper first all right then we'll go mismatch so i don't know how we do this because blinders is really overpowered so we do have mismatch expert that's a good one to have too but i'm kind of in a loop on that so we'll just go ahead and keep it like this all right and then on the playmaking side of things obviously you want to go um handles for days quick first step and quick chain these are the main ones people want to rock with you definitely want to get a um, bullet passer and bell out these are really good ones um i like triple um triple that droop <laughs> juke um i love that a lot but in this instance you definitely gonna have to go unpluckable based upon you know the way that the game is and then here what i would do is i would just go interceptor if you do go with the seven badge wave then obviously you want to go clamps and then you want to go um intimidator with interceptor if you see in corner if you're gonna play on ball defense then you definitely want to go clamps and pick dodger okay and but anyway there you have my nephews and nieces this is the scoring machine hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did you know what you need to do just make sure you drop a like subscribe to the channel and as usual your favorite old head uncle demi i'll be back really really soon on the banger man you know when i say i'm back soon on the banger you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out